Hi, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for dinner, and we are heading out in the boat. Me and Aubrey, that's my brother back there. We call him Brito Mas Grande. But we've been diving and snorkeling and catching lobsters pretty much our entire life. When we were little kids, our parents started taking us. And this is Aria's first trip out on the boat chasing lobsters. And right now, it appears she's back there trying to catch something with a dip. Big mullet, big mullet. What are you trying to catch? And I know a lot of you probably think there's this huge plan of what we're gonna do. Like, okay, Aubrey, do you have the plan? But the plan, when it comes to us, is literally get on the boat and go. You wonder, well, how do you find all these spots? And it's a proliferation of knowledge. So we have a couple spots, we'll jump in and start swimming. If we find a really good spot, We'll pull the float, yank on the boat, yank on the float until it goes underwater a few times. That tells the boat driver, drive over there and mark that spot. Well then, over time, your areas get bigger and bigger and bigger, and then you start figuring out areas that you can go dive, and then you say, oh, well this area was good, maybe, ooh, up here, that should be good as well. And then you start using your bottom machine, looking for little areas, and uh, it's always an exploration, it's always an adventure, and it's, most of the time a lot of fun. You will see me get cranky if he throws me out on sand. I'm just telling you that right now. But the last five times I've been diving with this guy, he's dropped me in the Sahara Desert underwater. So, whenever I go down, I better be seeing hard bottom. And that boat looks great. Oh, hey, Aaron, holy cow. That's Aaron Carnahan, holy cow. I literally went to kindergarten with that girl. It's a cool life. This is our life, y'all. I like the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Not. Pow! <laughs> and I like the water. And the way. And the porches. I love you. Awesome, y'all. Okay, so right over there, that is Dubois Park. That's where we grew up. That's the south side of Jupiter Inlet. Over on the left side, that's north side of Jupiter Inlet. Right along this wall here is where we catch a lot of snook in the summertime. And I'm telling you, if you ever want to go on an awesome snorkeling trip, just start at the inlet, come down this left side here, you'll see so many fish. Say bubble guppy, bubble guppy, bubble guppies. All right, you ready, Aria? Here we go. Hang on to daddy. Lobstering together. You so stoked? Yeah. Okay, so the first step, Aubrey figured out where he wants to dive. Unfortunately, we can't share that information with you, but um, he's gonna throw on his gear, get him in position, and then we'll go. I wear gloves. I wear gloves so I can grab the lobster and they don't hurt my hands because they have lots of spines on them, and if you grab them with no gloves, oh, they hurt your hands so bad. Bye-bye, Aria. He's going down. You can still see him, huh? How many lobsters do you think Uncle Aubrey will catch? I think a lot. As you can see, the ball is hooked up, which means Aubrey is probably catching lobsters right now. Oh, you got him, real, 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 real. You got him. Real, 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 real that thing. Real, 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 you got him. Real, you got him on. Oh, 
What do you think you got? Oh, reel down, roll. What do we got? What do we have? You got a trigger fish. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful fish. Go turn him loose. Okay, hold on. There he is. Got him, boys. Did you catch one, Aria? Yeah. Good for you, girl. Always keep your gun unloaded when you're getting in and out of the boat. Very important. You know what else is important? What? Zip up the bag before you go down. That's always an important factor, yes, correct. <laughs> nice, three lobsters and two lionfish. On this dive, I am going to explain to you via voiceover exactly what I'm thinking. Because what I say, what I tell you, is what I kind of want you to know, but what I'm thinking has a lot more to do with what's going on. So I think you're going to find it interesting to watch this dive, and I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm thinking. Are you there? Yeah, you're here. So as soon as I get there, I'm just checking to make sure I've got everything. Camera, gloves, bag, and down I go. All right, camera's rolling, clearing my ears, looking, okay, what's the bottom look like? Oh, it's clear. Oh, there goes the boat. It's not quite as cold as I expected it to be. Feels good. All right. Well, there's the bottom. Now I'm looking for any kind of crack or crevice. If you see right there in the middle of the screen, there's a little crack. Just a little thing. Oh, got to make sure my mask is cleared out. Put a little water in it. Tilt it back. Blow out through my nose. Oh, clearing my ears. Now I'm at the bottom. All right. See those yellow fish right there? Those are called pork fish. Pork fish will always give away a lobster's location. So I'm actually swimming into the current right now. And that bag is really giving me a hard time. I'm like, this is irritating. I'm going against the current, but I can see what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. See that blue and yellow fish? That's a queen angel. Oh, just dipped under the rock. Now I'm starting to look for antennas. I'm just checking things out, looking to the left. Oh, here's a little bit bigger ledge. Oh, there's a lobster right there. Hello. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I know that one's there. Checking out that Queen Angel, sliding up there, looking at him. Okay, that one actually is a little bit too small. Ooh, but this one's bigger. This one. Okay, yeah, that's a big lobster. I can tell you, see how long those legs are? That's a good one. Okay, so set the camera up. How can I actually do this so y'all can see? So, okay, hey, how you doing, buddy? Um, would you like to be a part of the catch, clean, and cook? Because you look very tasty. Uh, okay, so I'm trying to get my hand around there, but I don't want him to shoot out the back side of that rock. So I leave him alone. Now I'm going to swing around to the back side of the rock. But I, I had nowhere to put the camera, so I just left the camera there. <laughs> How you doing? Look at that big one. Three and a half pounder. Beautiful bug. Big long legs. Full of meat. And now making sure my bag has got the zipper closed on it. And let's try to do this in front of the camera so everyone can actually see. Come on, buddy. Come on. In the bag. There you go. Can't forget that last leg. That'll be good to eat. Here we go. Grab the camera. Now we're moving. Heading back to the north. And I typically get 5 to 10 feet off the bottom, and I'm just scanning. See that crack? See right in the middle of the screen there? That crack indicates there's a difference. There's like a, a break. So I'm going to swim over here. Oh, little lionfish. Too small. We'll be back for you, buddy, when you're bigger. Oh, Queen Angel. Mom's favorite fish again. Just so beautiful. You know, I got my bag, got my float, and I'm headed to the north. Just looking. Oh, now I'm starting to see. See those little fish right there on the bottom? That's what I'm looking for. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. See how they start to group up? And they're all going in one general direction. 99% of the time, they're going to take me to a lobster or take me to a hole. Take me to an area where there's live rock. Just swimming. Let's look over here to the right. Looking good. Look, oh, yeah, now we're looking good. See, right there. I'm looking down. See where that uh -oh. sand is? So, oh, big eel. More right eel. Let's, let's go down here and take a look at him. Show everybody. 
green more. They look really mean, but they're they're typically not that bad. Although I have been sent to the hospital by one. Moving right along. Feeling good. Okay, see that ledge right there to my left? Right now, lobster. Okay. Got my hand in the rock. And he's he's sort of back there to the right, so I'm trying I'm trying my best to get him out. I gotta wiggle him, wiggle him, wiggle him. I feel him coming. I got him. Good deal. First thing I checked for were eggs. No eggs. It's a male. Good to go. He's going in the bag. Keeper for sure. So right now I'm thinking, all right, I've caught two lobster. I know I've got dinner. Now let's really enjoy the time. Looked at that ledge, nothing. I'm looking in all those little tiny pockets. All those little pockets I'm looking. And I'm looking for the tips of the antennas. Try not to go too fast, just cruising along, looking for fish, looking for little holes, looking for little live rock. And here we go again. A bunch more fish, pork fish, little reef fish, and I know with as many fish as I'm seeing, we're going somewhere good. Looking good, looking good. And typically I find ro I find lobsters in areas that are overlooked by most people. You're looking for little small crevices, little small pockets. Okay, I'm just looking, 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 okay. Da -da 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 -da. Sand out there. I know with sand meets the rock, you're always going to have little cracks and crevices and ledges. I'm expecting to see lobsters right there. Let's check our air. We're at uh, 1,800 pounds. I know I got a little while, so let's move right along, heading to the north. Again, you can see that crack right through the middle going left to right in your screen. That is where sand is meeting hard bottom, so I know there should be some pockets and little openings where I can find some lobsters. So. Now I'm looking up, bunch of fish way up off the bottom so I know I'm in a live area. This is an area where fish and all that marine activity is happening, so I'm in a good spot. Wouldn't be surprised to have a king mackerel swim by, a cobia, even a gray grouper down on the bottom. Looking good? I'm like, all right, I know there's another lobster around here somewhere. Like, okay, okay, where are you guys at? Where are you at, Mr. Lobster? Where are you at? Uh, you can tell my head's moving a lot, left and right, left and right. because mm -mm. I'm. Oh, there's one. Now, is this thing sick? Is he dead? Is that a shed? What am I looking at? I'm like, there's something wrong with this lobster. He looks blind in one eye. He barely has any legs. His intent is already broken, but I'm like, all right, I got 1,100 pounds of air. I'm going to try to catch this thing. I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with it, but let's do it. So I expected just to reach in there and grab it right off the bat, but he shot way back up in the rock, like way back in there. So I'm trying to understand what I'm feeling. The hole goes way back in there and back into my right, and he, he really had a good spot. So he was using those antennas to push my hands away. So I just broke them off so that I could get a hold of them a little bit better. Now I'm, I'm trying to see it. I'm trying to see with my hands. I don't know if y'all can understand that, but. Okay, right now, you see me just nod there? That's me telling myself, I got him. I just gotta get my hands on him a little bit better. And then now I'm bringing him on out. I'm trying to make sure, not, make sure not to lose my hold. I just looked for eggs, and then he about got away. Good deal. No eggs. Big bug. That's number three. In the bag. We're going to continue on. Okay, now we're getting to a spot. Here's a bunch of mangrove snappers, grunts, all kinds of fish. And whenever I was seeing all those fish way up high in the water column, they were up above this huge ledge. Now, I don't know about where you're from, but where I'm from, I never catch lobsters on huge ledges like this. I'm always looking for little, small areas. So right now, I'm actually looking for a big snapper. I'm looking for something that I could go fishing on. So, I'm like, yeah, whatever. And you see the little bubbles coming out of the top 
left-hand side of my mask there, those little bubbles, that's me keeping just a little bit of air pressure in my mask. Now, as I come up, pop up, look, there's Aubrey, here they come. They're coming on over, and it's just an exciting time. Look down, make sure there's not a shark about to eat my lobsters, and here comes Brito and Aria. Such an exciting time. I did you have fun, Aria? Yeah. Tell them what we caught. What did you catch? Yeah. You caught two fish? At one time. At one no time. way. Yeah. All right, you guys. So the whole time I was down, I was thinking about what I was going to be saying. So. Hopefully this video came out the way it was. Oh, here he is, Aria. Right, get him. Move catch your, a, finger. Catch a baby. Move your finger. Get that fish. Here, turn the handle. It's a big one. Come here. Oh my goodness, Robert. It's legit. You just got eight. Uh, Aria, a big Goliath grouper just stole our snapper. He broke my line. Watch. Yo. So we got dinner and we are going to the house, y'all. See you there. But here we are in the kitchen. It's first thing in the morning. I'm gonna make something very special for breakfast. I very rarely make a breakfast dish. So let's just come in here, ring this rascal's tail. The lobster have been on ice overnight. So take that tail, take a knife. We're gonna split it right right down the back. Alrighty. Take your fork and go right down in on the back side of the tail and the meat should come right out. Pop it out, comes right out. And then we're just gonna cut this up into little beautiful bite-sized nuggets. We're gonna take a little pat of butter Put that right in this cast iron skillet. And this is our lobster tail. Throw that right in there. We're gonna do just a little bit of chopped garlic, a little bit of original Everglades, and a touch of ginger. And just let that just start coming to life. Everything is gonna be moving fast. For a lot of you, this is the first time getting to see our new kitchen. It's amazing. We've been building this house for the past year. We're not 100% done, but we are able to cook, so that's a good thing. The tour of the entire house is coming very soon. All right, take your eggs, throw it right in there, just like that. That's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. Simple as this. We want to season up our omelet with some fresh cracked pepper, a little bit of salt, and take some of your lobster, put right over here on one side. Just like that. Then we'll take cheese. We're gonna lay that cheese right in here. Come on, buddy. Roll it right over there. Ooh. That's it. Fresh. Fresh lobster omelet. Farm fresh eggs, lobster straight out of the ocean for my beautiful wife. Hey, thanks! There you go. That's like so flavorful. And the meat's juicy. Then you have the melted cheese and the egg that's fluffy. It's a party in my mouth. Are you a dragon? She's got her wings, she's trying to fly. You guys, so that's pretty much what it's all about. We went out yesterday, had a great time in the boat. Aria absolutely loved it. She got to catch some fish and just be a part of the team. Come home, now we're making omelets for everybody and we're gonna go to church and just have a great Sunday afternoon.
I hope you are as well. But that's all I got for you. Take care. God bless. We got.